What up, Freedom fans? Jonathan here today, and I am with Ryan Myers, one of our sponsor divers, and hey, Eric. Hey. And <laughs> the Eric. other guy. <laughs> and today we are going to talk to you about the ever so controversial topic, belt reels and pole spears. It's going to get spicy. <laughs> Ryan, by far, I think you probably have more, some of the most experience of any of the people that I know um, in using pole spears on big fish and more specifically with belt reels, reels, right? Absolutely. So talk us through it. I don't know when it happened, um, you know, four or five years ago, but I saw it with a buddy of ours and it completely changed the way we hunt deep big fish pole spear. Mm. Um, you know, we talked about a float lines in another video. They're great. After you ditch your float line, you'll have a hard time going back. Yeah. So um, reels in general are very advanced to use, mm -hmm. but a belt reel even more so. It's attached to your body. There's no getting rid of it. Um, when you fight a fish, it's going to stay right with you. All that line is going to have to go back in a loop. Um, it's definitely a more advanced method. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So talking about a little bit, Eric, with the, the rigging of let's at least get started, right? So I've decided that I'm a good enough diver. I feel confident enough with my breath hold and sure. my ability to maybe ditch my gear because that's always a possibility when we have a reel in play. So Eric, what are we trying to get set up? How are we going to make all of this work? Obviously, we're gonna start with our belt reel. Now this is the Rob Allen belt reel, which is an awesome little setup. Um, it's obviously gonna have line on it. So just imagine a little piece of line coming out the end of this. Um, the next piece of equipment that we're going to attach is a little piece of bungee. So this is also actually a Rob Allen product. This is a one meter bungee. It's the perfect diameter and it's not too... Um, Stiff, strength, stretchy, all those words. <laughs> uh, it's nice and light is what I'm getting at. There you don't you want a heavy bungee. It's, you don't want a ton of um, resistance on it. So this is gonna to attach to your reel line. So you're gonna have this piece hanging out. The reason you want that there is to allow the flexibility to not have to pull the line off the reel. This can be clipped on your pole spear. You can move anywhere you need to go and it's all set. So next is on your pole spear end, you've got your band on your pole spear. This is a specific band set up for clipping a float line or a reel to. Um, so we have a little tuna clip on the end of our bungee here that can clip straight onto the band. And there are other ways to do it. You know, if you don't have a specialized band like this, you can clip your tuna clips straight to the band, like so. This is a bit of a stiff band to do that with, but on smaller diameter bands, it works a little bit better. Um, and essentially, the reason you wanna clip to the band and not to the pole spear is, so when you go to load the pole spear, the float line or reel line is already in your hand when you pull the pole spear up and load it so you're not actually pulling this line through the water when you shoot the pole spear so we go like that and we're all set cool <laughs> so now that we are rigged up we've got this on our belt uh, making sure that obviously our line is going forward and this is all hooked up um, Ryan, what am I looking for when I'm on the bottom and actually trying to use, I've shot a fish maybe, or even before so, I shoot a fish, what am I looking for? So, I use this setup a lot. Um, anywhere in the world, if I'm using pole spear, I'm probably using a belt reel. Um, and I like to use a pole spear a lot. So, um, so I got a lot of, a lot of um, experience with this guy. Like we said, you're going to have this band above. It's going to be like this. So it's going to sit in your back. This line is going to come down like this to your belt reel. And one of the most important things to keep in mind with the belt reel is where this line is at all times, where this line is at all times. This, it tends to get wrapped right here around this knob. Mm -hmm. it happens a lot. Before I shoot, my GoPro it tells me this because I check every time, is going like this every time. So you're looking at your reel. It's yeah. always being checked because you take this shot and this thing is looped around you're not getting any line out of it. So you're laying on the bottom 70, 80 feet. A lot of times that's the end of your dive. You've already waited for that fish to come and approach you. Now you shoot, now you're tangled. You're going to drop everything. Um, I've actually got a, a fairly well-known video on, on, um, on YouTube of me shooting a hogfish at 164 feet. And on the way up, that's it. That's it. 
I, I'm looking down because I know that I have exactly 50 meters of line on my reel. And it spools me before I get to the surface, 15 feet from the top. And despite the fact that this is a quick release belt reel, all it takes is one of these, yeah. I drop my whole belt. And that's something to decide upon before you go out to your fishing. Yes. Again, you're using a reel, therefore everything is disposable. Yeah. Um, Except for you. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to take the time to try and figure out, hey, maybe I'll save my belt, drop the reel, hey, maybe I'll cut the line. There's just no time for that. Um, Ditch it all and save your life. It's an advanced technique. If you're not willing to you, to lose the whole system, you're not ready to use it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, so now that I've kind of figured out how to make sure I check my reel, look up, ready to hit my fish, I've shot my fish and I've hit him. Mm -hmm. Now what? Okay, so you've shot your fish. It's just like using a regular reel. On your way up, I'm still gonna palm that reel. I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna make sure that it's going out the way it's supposed to, and. When I get 15 feet from the surface, I'm going to lock onto it, and that's going to pull that fish up 15 feet. It's going to gain me 15 feet of line. Um, I'm going to fight this fish just like I would with the reel, except the difference is the belt, the reel is going to stay on my belt. So you're going to have to be extra careful to make sure that loop goes out and behind you, and you're working your way up the line. Um, one of the techniques I use if I get stuck, a lot of times you're shooting the Bahamas with this system, you shoot a big grouper, get stuck in a rock. I'll take this reel off my belt and I'll hand it to somebody mm. because there's no way that I'm going to go up and down with 30, a whole bunch of line with out. 50 yeah. feet, 60 feet of line out. I go back down, it's going to drop to the bottom, it's going to get tangled up, I'm going to get stuck. So um, your safety, your dive buddy can hang on to the reel, up, take that. hang on to the line. Absolutely, it keeps you it tight. Dive. Yeah, cool. for sure. That's exactly what I would do. You could put it on a buoy too if you need to. Either way, whatever's quickest. Um, that Dyneema that's on here is not made to break. Um, we do a pretty cool exercise in one of our classes where we actually put you in a loop and put you on the bottom and it's, it's borderline impossible to cut. You, you see people take their rusty dive knives and try to cut this stuff and it's, it's just, it's just not it's easy. Difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So, and so that's why you go back to, if we introduce reels to guns, pole spears, anything, that equipment is ditchable. It's ready to be lost. Yeah. For sure. Sounds good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Hopefully you guys found some uh, value in this. If you guys did, please make sure you leave us a like and, uh, of course, always subscribe. Um, thank you again, Ryan, for coming sure. and checking out, telling us a little bit about how belt reels work and when uh, to potentially use them. Um, so, yeah, if you guys do have uh, questions about that, ask us in the comment section below. If you guys do want to get set up for that, you can always go check out our store online at floaterfreedivers.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did find value in this video, please make sure you give us a like and of course subscribe to our channel so you guys can see when all our cool videos come out. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.